Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe until next Thursday. I'm Ashley Skeba. <laughs> I'm Jeff Kanata. Don't be worried about the universe. It's us that's going away, but we have something cool coming. We do. Uh, but right now what's coming is headlines. I thought that was what the cool thing was. But <laughs> if you're addicted to getting tattoos, maybe, just maybe, you could consider getting a tattoo from a robot. Two French designers are currently in residence at Pier 9 in San Francisco, and this is one of their creations. Teaching an industrial robot arm to tattoo human skin isn't exactly easy. You'd have to make a model of the area of the skin to be tattooed, design the actual tattoo art on that model, and then let the robot get to work. Did we mention the recipient needs to be restrained to keep their body still? <laughs> Obviously, this would be huge for tattoo shops who want robots to complete simple designs for clientele, but we aren't sure whether we are ready to strap ourselves down for some fresh ink from a robot or not. Well, I guess if robots are doing surgery, I, you might as true. well let them do this. Do those little mustaches on hipsters <laughs> on the sides of their fingers. That seems oh, all right. Oh, man. It seems all right. We'll let robots do the simple stuff. It, the stuff that tattoo artists hate doing. Right. Because they're... Listen, there's some tattoo artists out there that watch the show. You know exactly what I'm talking about. The little arrows on people's fingers yeah. and, like, the the semicolons. Like, they don't want to do that stuff. Some joker is going to have a robot tattoo a barcode on him, and it'll be like an art piece. It'll be very meta. Be very <laughs> exactly. Meta. Uh, I'm a big fan of electric cars, but this electric car has got some pizzazz. Meet the Nissan Blade Glider. This was unveiled as a concept a few years ago, and now Nissan is showing off a working prototype. It seats three people with reverse butterfly doors that spread open like flapping wings. The seating is designed like a triangle with the driver in the center front while two passengers can sit side by side in the back. Based on battery size and motor ability, it looks like the range could be around over 100 miles, making it a unique looking option for electric car enthusiasts in the future. No release date or pricing yet, but we're curious to see how the Blade Glider evolves as it nears commercial release. I just want to be able to say, they're like, what kind of car is that? It's a Blade Glider. Yeah. It's fine. It's no big deal. It just sounds so cool. It does sound super cool. If if I'm the fourth guy who can't fit in the car and I have to juggle along aside it, I'm the Blade Runner. Oh. oh <laughs> because... I... Blade Runner's a thing. That is the most perfect <laughs> joke I've ever heard in my life. Like, I love it I'm not proud so of it. much. You shouldn't be, but also, <laughs> I was really entertained. Um, what do you think we should talk about on Thursday? They're kinda, both really good choices. I kind of I, I kind of feel like the audience is going to have more to say about RoboTats. I think so. <laughs> uh, I think you guys should use the hashtag HeyTD on Twitter and tell us what tattoo you would get if a robot was giving it to yeah, you. Yeah, what is the perfect robot tattoo? And we'll think about it, too, and we'll t all talk about it on Thursday. We'll reconvene during our deep dive episode. I love um, it. So, that being said... It is now time for our phone talker for the day. Today's phone talker for the day is Jay, who took this fiery photo with a Galaxy S7 Edge. Yeah, Jay wrote to us and said, Hey, Jeff and Ashley, my name is Jay. I've been watching your show for about 200 episodes, and I'm sorry that this will all come to an end. I've commented several times on the show, but this is the first time I'm sending a photography entry. I'm a 20-year veteran beach lifeguard at Jacob Riz Park in Rockaway, Queens, New York City. I took this picture a few days ago at 5.45 in the morning with my Galaxy S7 Edge as the sun was rising on our morning workout. When most people think of Queens, they don't think of the Atlantic Ocean. See that lifeguard chair on the right? That's my office, and this is my view. You definitely have my permission to use this photo. Love, Jay. Amazing photo, first of all. It's gorgeous color. Yeah. But what a life this guy leads. What a cool job. That's really awesome. I love that you have done this for 20 years. You're wow. a lifeguard veteran of 20 years. I mean, I can't imagine how many people you've saved from sharks. <laughs> Probably a lot. Except they're not really on the Atlantic uh, side. Jay, the Atlantic? thanks so much for watching for so long. We got. We, don't yeah, worry. We'll, don't we're going to have awesome content for you. Don't we you worry. We have more stuff. Um, yeah. But just because Tomorrow Daily is ending next Thursday does not mean you uh, can't send in your photography before the end of the show. You can email it to tomorrow at CNET.com. Yeah, we are, our theme for these last few episodes is the best photo you ever ever taken. Ever. We would love to see the, the photo you're most proud of. All you got to do is send it to us. Tell us what device you took it on. Give us permission to use it on the show. Tell us how to pronounce your name and be sure to give us a little story as to why you think it's your favorite or best or most proud photo ever. Yeah. Jay did a really good job of that. Yeah. It's a great example. You're exactly. a great, great role model for all the budding 
and aspiring photographers out there today. <laughs> uh, that is it for today's show. We will be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of science fact meeting science fiction. Uh, you can find us online, tomorrowdaily.com, all that stuff. But pick us up on social media yeah. as individuals because that's where we're going to see all of our cool stuff later and CNET social media. Uh, but until then, be good humans. Bye, guys. <laughs>